What's going on guys, it's that time of month again where we've got my geek box. Now it's coming this blue packaging thing, I can't remember if the last one came in this. Um, but this one obviously did. Um, this month's theme is tunes, I believe, uh, so this is cartoon themed. Um, first of all, let me apologise about the lighting situation. Um, it's currently half past 11 at night, uh, so I've got no natural sunlight. I've literally got a lamp and my main uh, room light. So obviously the uh, quality of the camera is not going to be fantastic because it's not got any natural lighting. Um, so yeah, first, first of all apologies for that, but apart from that, let's get into the box. Or the bag, should I say. Oh, might not need the knife for that. There we go. We've got the blue my geek box inside that box it doesn't feel that heavy so i'm not expecting great things um and i don't actually need the knife anymore anyway so we can put the knife away so um, that is not actually needed i forgot about that now every time i every time i get one of these like when i used to get them like towards the start of my unboxings of my geek box it felt like i got them like really really soon uh like between each other but now they feel like ages like forever between between boxes it's like, it, I, I know it's like a whole month between boxes, but it just, I don't know, it just seems so long between them. I don't know why. Um, I know the courier for this was like My Hermes, I think, um, and I've not heard great things about them. So maybe they're slow on delivery. I don't know, because I got, I got an email from my Geekbox saying that um, they've started shipping. And then I received it like, well, I received it today, which was a week, about a week, maybe just over a week later than I got that email saying that they've been shipped, so I was like, you know, where is it? Is it going to come, or is it not? Um, but yeah, it's here, so let's get into it and get unboxing this tunes. Oh, Although it's quite light, it's packed to the brim, which is pretty cool. Okay, so on top of the box, we've got some gobstoppers, Wonka's gobstoppers in a little bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, sweets, got some sweets, we've got some more of these uh, warheads, I've had them before in a previous box, I believe it was uh, in my geek box, not a loot crate, I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure it was a geek box. Um, on top of that, we've got a Minions keyring, just there, with a little picnic uh, bag, just there, so that's pretty cool, it's official Minions stuff. Um, and Minions are like really big at the moment, I don't know why, I know they've got like a, their own film coming out, but from going from like just in the, in the uh, film of Despicable Me to like how big they've actually become is crazy, um, to have their own film, and if, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've seen on picture, uh, a guy that, the guy that created a Minion, uh, well the Minions, and it actually looks like one, I'm not gonna lie, he does look like a Minion. Um, weirdly, because he's human, but there you go. Uh, next on top of the box, we've got Adventure Time Festival wristbands. I've seen quite a few people wearing these, just like, I don't, well, they're not for festivals as such, but they're in the same sort of design as festival uh, wristbands. Um, I know that dog one is Jake. I don't know who this guy is, because I don't watch Adventure Time. Um, but I like Jake because I've seen him around and I've got a cup, which also came in a geek box of Jake, so I kind of like looked into who he was, and yeah, he's a pretty cool character, but um, it doesn't actually say who they are, so that's pretty cool, I'm liking those, not sure that I'll actually wear them, but I'm liking them, they're pretty sweet, uh, on top next, we've got, I don't know what I can show you of this, if anything, um, just checking for codes a second, not that, don't think I'm going to use it anyway because it's a £10 gift voucher um, for uh, Retro Gamer and Sci-Fi Now which is redeemable against a six issue subscription to Retro Gamer or Sci-Fi Now so I think that's um, I think it's well the magazines on back like that which I'm not really into I don't really read the magazines to be honest especially Retro Gamer or Sci-Fi Now so um, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with that because I don't think I'll use it. So obviously like it says it's a six issue subscription and I'm not going to 
use that for six issues or whatever, or however many issues that can afford, um, and then continue paying for it myself. So that's probably not much good to me. Um, anywho, next on top, this box is like actually quite packed. I'm liking this. Um, <laughs> I actually seen these in town the other day. I went to town with my brother and I seen these and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and I've actually got one in the box, which I'm quite excited about. So, it's an inflatable, 24 inch I think, yeah, 24 inch inflatable sword from Adventure Time. So, we're going to have to do it guys. I'm going to have to. I can't not. So, uh, give me a second to stretch this out. We have to blow this up. You watch me get out of breath and I'll just, <laughs> just try to puff up, puff up blow up a, a little sword. Just unstick it. So I find that helps if you've ever blown up a balloon. Um, if you like stretch it out so it's all like floppy and not stuck together like this. It seems to like help the airflow get into it a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. Just gonna, it stinks. It's that horrible smelly plastic stuff. Whew. Um... Let's separate it right to the tip. Lol. Uh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Nearly there. Just open it. There we go. So it's all stretched out now. So let's get the little thing in there. Start alone. Mm. Okay, I could be here a while, guys. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay guys, so we're back, and there it is, a blown up Adventure Time sword, is that, yeah, so that's, that's the right way around, and then turn it around, and that way around, but yeah, so we've got an Adventure Time inflatable sword, 24 inches of inflatable goodness, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure I could find somewhere to put it, anyway, so yeah, I'm quite impressed with that, don't know, don't know why, um, 25 years old, impressed with an inflatable adventure time sword but hey ho there you go so that's pretty cool next on top of the box we have some family guy socks uh just generic socks like that you can get in any sort of store you can, well you can you get them sometimes in like really cheap stores um but yes yeah, so a family guy men's ankle sock so there you go guys a pair of socks family guy design that's what is next in the box um Two more things left, one being the t-shirt, but this one is a Simpsons donut cushion. Um, there you go, I think I've seen these around as well. Uh, so, let's get into it a second and get it out of the bag. So you can stick it to a car window or some sort, so I might actually, will it stick to my PC? So it kind of, kind of just about sticks to my PC case, so I might stick it to the glass pane, um, just for lols. But yeah, so Simpsons donut keyring or cushion with a sticky plushy thing, um, sucker pad. So that's pretty cool, it's really, really soft actually, so I can imagine that being quite uh, costly anyway. Um, being, it's like legit. Simpson, her licensed Simpsons stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the last is the t-shirt and this was last month's t-shirt just to show you. This was from the box Nemesis. Um, this is the uh, Resident Evil themed t-shirt. So it's just a grey t-shirt with these blood marks and then it's got the little umbrella. Uh, well, what does it say again? I can't remember. Um, Project Nemesis. What was it? Project Nemesis. Biological Warfare Umbrella Corp. So that obviously shows that it's um, Resident Evil themed. So yeah, I was quite happy with what I got this t-shirt. I have worn it quite a lot actually since I got it in the last month's box. Um, but I do really like the t-shirt. Uh, this one, I can see Mickey Mouse's hand and a pencil. Um, so that obviously ties in with the cartoon theme. So here you go guys, it's Mickey Mouse's hand. Oh, I lost that there. So there you go. Mickey Mouse's hand with a pencil and it says everything looks better in two dimensions. So yeah, obviously two dimension, three dimension, whatever. Um so that's pretty cool. I quite like that t shirt. It's um it's pretty good. It's quite big though. I'm not gonna lie, I've not adjusted the size of my t shirts and this one looks absolutely huge. It's gonna look like a freaking tent on me. Um 
But nevertheless, it's okay. I'll wear it about the house and if it's not too big, then I'll wear it out maybe. Um, but yeah, guys, so that has been uh, April's, April's, August's box of uh, My Geek Box, which is the theme of tunes. Um, I was pr pretty impressed with this, guys, actually. It's not too bad because the box is £17.99. pence. Um, obviously, I'm thinking they're expecting this is a £10 gift. So they're thinking, oh, you know, we're giving you a £10 voucher. But like I said, I'm not going to use that. So uh, that's really no of no use to me really these uh, wristbands they're cool and I should imagine they're probably about 253 pounds something like that the minions keyrings probably about a pound uh, the sweets they're not a lot at all they're like pence even uh, the t-shirt is a t-shirt I can't really put a price on that because they're individually made just for my gate boxes the donut I can see that coming in around probably like 455 pounds maybe uh, just because it's you know official license Simpsons this is probably my best thing in the box, to be fair. <laughs> I, I, I really like this, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this is this is probably my best thing. So this I'll probably rate it probably about three to five pounds. So that's that. And the socks, they're probably about two pounds. So all in all, I reckon it's a pretty valuable box uh, for what you're actually getting and what you actually pay. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of August My Geek Box with the theme of tunes. Uh, if you want to uh, check out last month's Geek Box, either check the link down below. I'll leave a link down there or uh, just like search around my channel. Also, if you wanted to go and if you're into gaming and that sort of side of things, you can go over and check my gaming channel out, which I'll also leave a link in the description to. Um, at the moment, I'm doing a Fallout 3 uh, series, or Let's Play or Walkthrough or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm quite enjoying it, it's a really good game and a lot of exciting things are starting to happen now I'm on like episode 8 so I'm actually like getting into it, like into the actual main story so it's becoming pretty fun um, so head over to my game channel and check that out if you really want to and yeah guys, I'll see you in my next unboxing of my Geekbox or any products I get in between my Geekboxes which I sometimes do, like my last video I've done on my Apple Watch uh, if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description to that also. Um, yeah, and like I said, head over to my gaming channel if you want to. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the very next episode. Episode? Video. Peace out, guys.